Hello there everyone. Today we're going to take a look at Windows Longhorn built 4074. Now, um, we, we've got a few things to talk about here. Now, Windows Longhorn was actually the beta for Windows Vista, as some of you might have already known. But the thing is, is that there, along the course of Longhorn, you had a development reset. The build we're going to look at today is actually before that whole development reset. Now, why was the code reset? Well, somewhere along the lines, Longhorn was supposed to be a minor release to Windows XP. It's supposed to be, hey, yo, we got Windows XP, now let's update it. But then they started getting ambitious, and they started to say, hey, let's add this feature, add this feature, add this feature, and thus it became a bloated mess, according to some people at Microsoft. Now, from what I can tell, Build 4074 wasn't, isn't actually as bloated as Windows Vista. It's amazing how they thought that was bloated, but my guess is is that the reason why Windows Vista became Windows Vista is that the development reset of 2005 before then they had like about they were already working on it since 2002 pretty much But then right around the development reset they had to redo everything that they worked on before 2005 In 2005 to 2006 so about a year at least from what I can tell so Essentially, Windows Vista was more slapped together than what you're about to see. So Longhorn 4704 was one of the one of the more defining builds of Longhorn. In fact, a lot of people know about it. Some might say it's a little overrated because everyone knows about it, but honestly, I think it's actually a pretty cool build. 6.0.4074.idx02. Those are some things, and uh... It, this, uh, according to this, it says this is the best known Longhorn build. It's generally known as WinHEC 2004 which, because it was uh, distributed at the Windows Hardware Engineering Conference of 2004 and stuff like that. It had a wallpaper called Leaves and it contained some new themes and whatnot. You can actually modify that Jade theme to become a Glass Effect theme, which you can probably see around here. That's all fine and dandy, but... Where is the virtual machine? Well, we haven't set that up yet. We're going to set it up in the video. Now, this is going to be a multi-part thing. The first thing, the, the, this first video right here is going to be us actually installing it inside of this virtual machine right here. VirtualBox, I use it. A lot of people prefer VMware for all the Longhorn stuff, but honestly, VirtualBox is the thing that I use. If you use something else, great. So, to begin, we already actually have the ISO lying around. It's not there. It's right around here. There's the ISO. LHUSA 4074 x86 FRE underscore pro dash DVD. x86 FRE is actually one of those uh, Windows development whatchamacallit. Like that FRE, I believe, is like free or release or something like that. Something to do with that, but if you see anything that says CHK, that's a checked build, which means it's a debug and whatnot. But that's besides the point. So, we're going to begin by clicking this new button. The new button creates a new virtual machine. Now, here's the important part. You have to click here, then you have to click Windows XP 32-bit. Why don't you click Windows Vista? It's mostly to do with the fact that, Wind that Windows Longhorn doesn't exactly support the SATA drivers that... Uh, via uh, VirtualBox comes with by default, or the, vir the the emulated SATA device. But yeah, we're also gonna switch off to expert mode because that actually helps make it a little bit faster. So we type in Windows Longhorn 4 Then we type XP. We're gonna go ahead and uh, set the thing to 512. That is actually pretty good for 2004 standards, really. Which is what when this build was made. Let's see. BIOS date April 26, 2004. So, right around there. Create. 10 gigabytes. VDA. Create. Now, some of you who might have experience with Windows betas, you might be saying something. But HDF. Why don't? Why are you not changing the BIOS state? VirtualBox does not allow you to do it without doing some random weird terminal commands and stuff. And you have to like do like dash dash VM something. Well, the thing about 474, 4074 that I've noticed is that you don't need to set the date back in time. 
It'll actually install just fine in any date past 2004. Kind of interesting if you ask me, but yeah. And then we got some stuff here with Pulse Audio. Let's get the party started by clicking Start. It says here, select Startup Disk. Obviously, we're going to click the LHUSA disk. Open. Start. We're using 5.0, as you can see. Starting the Windows pre-installation environment. So we're waiting for this, and setup is starting. Welcome to Windows Setup. Thank you for choosing Microsoft Windows, yada yada yada. We click continue. Now here comes the product key. This is, honestly, I'm going to show the product key because it was shown on the website over there, and since Microsoft hasn't exactly bothered to take them down, I'm just going to assume that it's okay, followed by the fact that this key right here. This specific key it isn't exactly a licensed key because th this thing here actually works with a bunch of the Longhorn builds, not just 4074, like anything like the 3000s or the 4000s. Um, not the 5000s, though, those were different, but um, this one key works with a bunch of the Longhorn builds. And it's just freely floating around the net, so I have no qualms about posting this here. Not that I support software piracy. You might have seen some of my older videos. I used some pirated version, but those were way, a pirated version of something, that, that was way back when I was a teenager pretty much, so those days are pretty much over, but I had fun. Some of you might be saying, well, well didn't you pirate Longhorn 4074? Kind of, but at the same time though, it's like, isn't it Abandonware? Microsoft doesn't really care about it all that much. Uh, abandonware isn't exactly a legal thing, but at the same time though, Hey, what can you do? There's, there's, not, there's no other way to actually test this piece of history out. And at, at this point in time, 4074 was a defining moment of the Longhorn Project. So, indeed, this is a piece of history. So, we take the key. PCP. I'm going to move this over here. I don't have to keep swapping back. You might be hearing me slamming the keys, but eh. What can you do with a laptop? If it bothers anyone, sorry about that. Tell me more about product keys. Keep your product key in a safe location. Do not share it with others. Well, we've just already broke that rule. <laughs> you will need this product key in order to use install and use Windows. We'll click OK. 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 And use a license agreement. 180 day license. Though, here's the thing about this 180-day license. When you get into Longhorn, there's a 30-day activation period that you need to do. Uh, Microsoft doesn't exactly acknowledge Longhorn anymore, so we're going to have to work our way around that using a special thing of uh, winlogon.exe that I found on longhorn.ms. I'll get to that in the next video. We'll click yes. Click continue. Okay, punch in a computer name, so we're just gonna give it like, I don't know. Uh L H V M. We'll just give it that. It's a nice host name. Click continue. Unallocated space. New. Apply. And there. We got about ten thousand two hundred and thirty six megabytes of free space. Well, that's good enough. Collecting information and copying files needed for setup. It says right here it's going to take 14 minutes, but in actuality, it's not actually going to take that long. Twelve minutes left. So, essentially, we're just uh, copying files to the hard drive, setting everything up, and stuff, like you normally do with a setup but I don't know who here has actually had any experience with Windows Vista everyone says it sucks and I agree but around service pack 1 or 2 for uh, Vista once you get those service packs installed Vista actually sucks much less so that's a good thing but nowadays though Vista is rendered obsolete thanks to Windows 10 Yep, 
Hi everyone, Windows 10. Microsoft considers everything else obsolete. Because Windows 10. You gotta upgrade to Windows 10. Oh yeah, well you know what Microsoft? Screw you, I'm installing Windows Longhorn as we speak. Now speaking of Windows 10, there are some features that, lo that, that actually resurfaced in Windows 10. I'll get onto that in another video, but in Windows 10 there are some features that resurfaced that has been buried since the Longhorn project. Like, ever since that development reset, there were some ideas that came with this that were buried for another... to like 2016, pretty much. Or 2015. And like, when you think about it, Windows Longhorn is indeed about... 12 years ahead of its time. This was all 2004. And they had ideas like WinFS, having like a... having like a, a, an entire database as your file system. It's just really amazing. We'll get on to all those features later on. For now, it's asking us to restart. And then, VirtualBox. You don't push the spacebar here. If you do, it'll just boot right back into the CD. We don't want that. Oh, I forgot to minimize this. Ah, who the thunk? And right here, please wait while setup detects your computer's hardware. This can take up to 10 minutes. That That's actually a lie right there. This thing here can take anywhere between 10 minutes to 2 hours. If you run it on, like, actual hardware from, like, 1999. Which I actually did. I ran 4074 on a Dell Dimension 4100. With a Pentium 3. It worked great, but... This part here takes a while, so I'll come back to this after it's done. See you then. Well, looks like the installation is finished just now. So, as you can see here, it says this wizard helps you install software for the base system device. Yeah, VirtualBox and Longhorns with the base system device, they don't exactly match up. For everything that I know, I actually don't know what a base system device is. Is it like a chipset or what? I'm confused about this. But whatever the case is, when you click next, it's not going to do anything. Actually, I can demonstrate that for you because it's not going to break anything. Yeah, it says it is recommended because the wizard cannot find software on your computer for this stuff. I don't know how to fix this. All I know is I'm just going to ignore it for now. Not really all that relevant. It works fine without it, so... But the first part here, you're going to notice it's going to complain and complain, blah, blah, blah. But, as you can see here, it's doing things a little differently. It says, found new hardware. You got a clock. You got this thing. Now, let's fix up this cruddy 640 by 480 resolution real quick. Which you can go to through the normal settings thing. We're going to set it to, we don't care, Windows Update. 800 by 600, highest color, 32. Wow, 32 bit. Apply. And also, sorry if things seem a little bit uncentered. The The thing about that is, is that, uh, I'll fix that once I install the VirtualBox Editions, which will come up in another video. Now, as you can see here, it says 60 days left for activation, despite us having ourselves, actually I said 30, but it's really 60 days left, so I guess they extended it. So, screw what I said about 30, it's actually 60. So... That activation thing cuts our trial time in half unless if you do a certain tweak. So that's gonna be that's gonna be coming up soon once we actually get to that part. So here it is. Display properties. It's a thing. It's a pretty cool thing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going on about. But yeah, Windows codename Longhorn Evaluation Copy Build 4074. Go to run. Windows Longhorn build 4,000 and yeah you got yourself your basic longhorn thing now you're, you're seeing yourself uh, over here you're seeing a combination of uh, Windows XP icons a weird Internet Explorer icon and the Windows Vista icons for some of the part so for those of you who didn't know 
Vista's icon set existed for quite some time, since at least 2004. And yet they showed up in 2006. But yeah, here's a sidebar. We'll get into this in the next video. But for right now, we have fully installed Longhorn 4074, and I'll see you in the next video.